So I came in fast and furious <clears throat> on the motorcycle. Beautiful day here in Florida. And I wanted to show that fucking Fachi idiot how we settle, uh, how we enjoy uh, Christmas Eve here in Florida. So let's uh, let's let's get my face on the video. So uh, I'm gonna head on inside. I try not to get too many faces. I don't want to get any faces on the video. But uh, we're all here uh, celebrating Christmas Eve. We don't. Hey, Fachi, you gosh dang fool! We don't wear no damn masks here in Florida. You stupid idiot. I love calling that son of a gun out. I love all that virtue signal. I hope Nancy Pelosi's sucking on her mask right now. And Biden, too. I hope both of you know, get all that virtue signaling, all you idiots in Washington, D.C. You know, in Florida, we don't listen to your stupid shit. So let's get going. I'm going to enjoy the Christmas party. We'll get some video once I get inside, hopefully. I got to I gotta take it from a distance so I don't get no faces on the, on the video. Unless they agree to it. We'll see. Hey, Fachi, look at all them masks. Ooh, everybody in here is wearing a mask. Thank God. Thank God. We're all going to get an Omnicron. Omnicron. Everybody's going to die. They're all going to die. Hey, Fachi, <clears throat> you flipping idiot. Uh, let's see. We had all this food. Look at all that. Look at all them masks, Fachi. Ooh, Omnicron's blowing around. People ooh, got the drawing going. Omnicron's blowing around. Here we are at the VFW. Look, look, look at his table. Hmm. Oh, well, all the ham's gone. Hmm. I didn't even try that yet. Ooh, look at this uh, casserole. Oh my God. Hey, hey, Fachi, I bet there's unvaxxed people here. There's unvaxxed people. Oh my God, they're unclean. They're unclean. You gotta, you gotta come down here, Fachi. Come down to Florida. You know, bring, bring the federales. Bring, bring the FBI, man. Bring the FBI. So we're doing uh, Secret Sandia here, Fachi. You flipping idiot. So uh, look at all them masks. Woohoo! Come to Florida, Fachi. We'll, we'll rip that mask right off your face, you flipping idiot. So I thought I'd finish up the video. Beautiful day. Ate ham. You name it. This is how we spend Christmas in Florida. You know, you don't see no damn masks here. People are happy. We're free. I just wanted to uh, make a Christmas video. I'm sorry to be so negative. I just can't stand that son of a gun that uh, gets paid $450,000 to be wrong about everything. But uh, that's just me. So anyway, I'm heading over to my motorcycle, and uh, it's getting kind of chilly. So I'm going to head on home and pet the dog and uh, spend Christmas with the dog. Maybe watch uh, uh, Jimmy Stewart and It's a Wonderful Life. You never know. But uh, I just want to say, you know, Merry Christmas. And by the way, those are the words. Merry Christmas. I'm not telling you Happy Holidays. I'm telling you Merry Christmas. And have a happy new year. Peace out. Stay free. And let's do the mantra as I get to the motorcycle. Freedom! Oh, freedom! Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no jab requirements, no lockdowns. And if you want that sort of thing, move to California. Move to New York. Stay the hell out of Florida. Peace out. Stay free. So, wanted to make a tail end to the Christmas video because I, I do have a lot of anger at what's going on in Washington, D.C. And uh, But, I mean, you know, at the same time, it's Christmas, people, and we have to be thankful for everything. Now, why do I have this ridiculous helmet on? <laughs> It's because some happy uh, horse person uh, dropped it along the trail, and uh, I, I don't even know how to get it back to him. Maybe someday somebody will watch my channel, and I can get the helmet back to him. Uh, it's a great bicycle helmet, and uh, hell, who knows? Maybe I'll go horseback riding someday. I do live in horse country here in Florida, so let's get that off my head. <clears throat> but uh, nice helmet. <clears throat> um.
you know, I guess, uh, you know, being Christmas, we have to give thanks for everything. I mean, look at this. My wife, um, I, it, she, I, unbelievably, uh, after her moving out and taking a bunch of stuff, uh, she dropped the dog off today and, uh, you know, um, so I wouldn't be alone for Christmas. Uh, now I was at the, well, and you've already seen it. I was at the VFW and we had a, we had a nice day, but I'll be all alone tomorrow. I think I'm just going to take the dog for a hike. Um, but I wanted, I wanted you to think about things. Um, you know, that police officer up in, uh, Minnesota, the woman, uh, they, they convicted her of first degree manslaughter. Uh, and second degree manslaughter. And uh, I didn't watch the trial, so I don't, you know, I'm, but at the same time, I mean, it, it seems to me she was very remorseful. And the guy that they were trying to arrest was a known felon, uh, a violent felon who was actually trying to get away in a, in a car. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a police car, uh, you know. Um, I, you know, it, it, it just seems to me that the, the Democrats are their own worst enemies. I mean, who, who's going to want to be a police officer in Minnesota now? I wouldn't. No way in hell. I mean, if you, you make, uh, and let's call it a mistake. She said she was going for her taser, but it, uh, according to everything that I've seen, she was perfectly within her rights to pull a gun. So for them to convict her, I mean, they've sent a terrible message to the police officers in Minnesota. Uh, by the way, we got, you know, $5,000 bonuses here in Florida. You want to come down here and be a police officer, I guarantee you we'll have your back. Um, just let the people in Minnesota, all them damn Democrats, just let them rot, man. That's my opinion, you know, uh, you know, because you, you don't want to be there. You know, you arrest, you try to arrest somebody, uh, you, you could go to jail for the rest of your damn life. So that's the, it's, what I'm saying is have her in your prayers. Uh, hopefully uh, they'll, it'll go up on appeal and uh, and she'll get some sort of justice, uh, you know, that's it, because I'm, I'm a news hound, you know that for sure, and, uh, you know, the other thing is, um, I, and I hope they're in your prayers, is all the people that uh, Biden left behind enemy lines in Afghanistan, I mean, just think of how much life, how much worse your life could be, I mean, suppose you're over there, the Taliban are chopping off heads, and they're hunting you down, and you're on the run, you know, just like in, the, in, in World War II, where the, some of the German people had Jews locked in their basements or in attics and, you know, secret rooms and everything. And the, and the Nazis were coming in trying to find them so they could, you know, put them in the concentration camps and gas them all, you know, to kill them. So, you know, the world could be a much worse place. And uh, all I'm saying is uh, um, be thankful. Appreciate what you got. I mean, look at this. Look at this guy. <laughs> Say hi, boo. Say hi, boo. You know, and so I, 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 uh, I just want to say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Um, I will be the next video. I always promote my next videos. I will be getting out to Hypata uh, once my wife. You know, she says she might leave the dog till Monday. I, I that blew my mind. Um, but uh, I don't know. Um, you know, because. I, I could take him out there, but uh, if it's a hot day, I can't leave him in the car, and he can't hike far enough. I want to I want to do a nice long hike because uh, we're going to go out there and make a left. Uh, that's at the Pruitt Trailhead on uh, uh, four four eighty four. Uh, you know, heading out past two hundred towards Donellan. Okay, well, um, peace out, stay free, and uh, we've already done the mantra today, and. Uh, Let's hope that uh, we get some leadership in this country that uh, makes sense. Um, you know, I, I just, uh, if, if you haven't listened to that song, I got blood on my hands. I got blood on my hands. Lincoln, blinking, will you look me in the eye? And then it goes on from there. And uh, you can look it up on YouTube. I'll put a link in this video down below. Because I watch that on a regular basis. I, I, I think the guy that wrote that song, it, it just epitomizes what happened in Afghanistan. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know how the Democrats live with themselves. I mean, I, why do you want open borders? Why would you leave Americans behind enemy lines in Afghanistan and be okay with it? Why do you want inflation? I mean, what's wrong with these people? You tell me. Maybe leave a comment below. If you're a Democrat, explain all this to me. I want to know. I, I want to know. Somebody, some Democrat, somewhere in the universe, explain to me where Biden has done one 
doggone thing correct since he became president. Let me know what it is. I would love to acknowledge it. I'll, I'll put it up on a video. Hell, I'll, I'll put up a billboard and say Biden did something right. You let me know. And of course, we got Kamala Harris in charge of the border. Woo, you know. Don't you think if you're in charge of something, you actually need to visit the location? Let's say that you're running a plant at Ford Motor and cars are coming off the lines and you're three states, you know, 10 states away or wherever on the other side of the world. Don't you think at some point you would want to visit the car making plant that you're in charge of to, to see what's going on and talk to some people? Maybe talk to a Border Patrol agent. Once in your life, Kamala Harris. All right, I'm done. Say hi, boo. Say hi, boo.